everybody, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be completing my shell, which I hosted a shell challenge out of. Um, and it was due on the 31st of March. Unfortunately, I haven't got any time to go through the shells that have been completed and uploaded. But I will soon this weekend because I just got a job and I have been quite busy like just adapting and figuring things out before I want to actually focus back on The Sims. So the video will be up soon. I actually planned to upload my own shell challenge only after the results have come out. But I didn't manage to do so because like I said, I am quite busy now. It's really sad for me. I feel sad but it's something I have to do for my career. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to tour the shells that you guys completed um, and the video will be up on Thursday. So today is the Tuesday by the time you see this video. In fact, it is Tuesday right now, which is on the 6th of April. So I guess it's a coincidence. But anyways, you can see that I already started to add some foundation and roofing for this build. And for the theme of this build, I didn't really have a theme, but I wanted to make kind of like an eco house. Um, but I don't think it turned out very eco in the end. It's slightly eco, but it's not so eco. Um, and we are going to be furnishing this shell. Um, and it is in, I think, Willow Creek, where the suburbans are. And I'm really happy how with how this uh, house turned out to be. And I can imagine a couple of sims living here. Um, the only thing about this house is that it has only one bedroom because of the small space upstairs. I decided to turn that small space into a bedroom. But for the rest of the house, it's just the common areas. And I quite like how it turned out because it is quite like glassy, but at the same time a bit modern. And I also managed to use a lot of items from the Eco Lifestyle Pack, which I, I, I really like, but I don't really use it in my builds. I usually use island living stuff and also city living and also a lot of base game items I think but for this build I decided to go like a lot of the items that I used here are from the eco lifestyle pack and I really hope you guys will like it I really liked how it turned out because it's it looks super pretty I think I think for the interior I like the kitchen the most for this build because it kind of looks rustic um, and I tried to apply the eco theme throughout the whole build. But anyways, for the landscaping, you can see that I added in this debug fence that is quite sharp. I'm not sure either it's from base game or city living or something like that, but I think it's from base game. And I think this is my first time using them because I don't know, I wanted to explore a lot more items in the debug menu. So I found this fence, which is which looks more suitable for an apartment, I can imagine. But I decided to use it in here because it's green and it looks kind of like eco. I imagine that the couple that lives here, they basically like did their own home, built it and planned everything to use like eco items such as a wallpaper. I'm not sure what, what the item, I mean the material is made of. For the wallpaper but it is eco and i also managed to put in a lot of these machinery that came with the eco lifestyle pack specifically for the backyard because i imagine that the backyard is where the eco couple basically does their like research or something like that and they're just very very like keen or like very interested in eco lifestyle <laughs> as the pack says and i imagine also that they are not very like like up to date with like trends and stuff so they decided to go eco eco friendly and eco but anyways we are moving on to the interior and for this section over here which is on the left of the shell oh yeah speaking of the shell before i talk further about this build i when i uploaded the shell to the gallery to be completed by you guys it was I didn't realize that I had put walls in there because from the outside when I was building the shell I just basically put in boxes around the like boxes around boxes basically um, but I didn't realize that I put the walls I mean I probably realized but I just forgot um, but I op uploaded the shell with the interior walls and I forgot to mention that you can actually remove them because um, I think my friend Simply Tara 
like she after she did her video on the shell and she also completed the shell she basically mentioned in the video that um basically i i didn't allow like the inner walls to be removed and it was a mistake for me i think because i meant that you cannot move the exterior walls but yeah i didn't realize that i put in walls for the inside so i'm really sorry for that if you already furnished it with the walls inside i think yeah um i haven't seen the uh final product of your shells yet but i think a lot of them have the walls in it so i'm really sorry for that and i should have realized earlier but anyways back to this build you can see that we are decorating the living room right now but for the color scheme of the whole build, it is quite brown from the inside and out, except for the kitchen. I decided to make the kitchen a green color scheme. And I think I really like the kitchen the most because I've never done a green kitchen before. I think I might have, but it is not so like bold. But for this build, I decided to go with the green color scheme for the kitchen with the counters from the cool kitchen stuff pack because i thought that the modern twist made the kitchen look a bit more livelier and i also think that the patterns that came with the counters are very very simple and suited this theme um but i like i said i don't like have a specific theme for it i just imagine a couple of eco friendly sims living here so the kitchen is quite modern for this build i think if i think back at it but i'm really happy with the kitchen it looks very very nice i think yeah i think i mentioned it just now but it is my favorite part of the build and i decided to add in a stairs inside the kitchen so that your sims can access the top part which is the bedroom and this is because i didn't want to fit in a staircase simply because this if i were to put in a staircase the scare the scare taste <laughs> the staircase would take up a lot of uh space so yeah that's basically it um being the reason why i didn't put the staircase and i put a stairs or ladder instead <laughs> um but i really like the kitchen like i said because of all the decorations i think for this kitchen the decorations i kept it at minimal i didn't really clutter it up a lot but i did put a lot of wall decorations um and just simple clutter like that basket over there that came with the eco lifestyle and also the main clutter which i usually use which are chili jars and also salt and pepper and stuff like that um and i also added in that leaf shape structure from the eco lifestyle simply because i thought that the color of the leaf structure suited perfectly and also contrasted perfectly with the green wallpaper and i really like the look of it um and i also ended up adding that flowery arrangement over there for a wall decoration i've never used it before but i decided to use it in this one because i wanted like to build something different i guess in terms of the style um but i did have a lot of struggle like figuring things out on what to put in the corners or like there was too much space for the kitchen for me basically um so i ended up adding a small side table from the laundry day stuff pack with a magazine clutter on top from the eco no not eco it's from Moschino. <laughs> but anyways this is going to be the dining room which is an outdoor type of dining room you can see that i put that windows over there that are not meant for indoor living space it is basically like panels and they are from the eco lifestyle pack and i think it really suits this theme because like i said it's for a couple who is very ecoistic <laughs> or they are into eco lifestyle um, and i thought that me putting the paneling or the paneled windows over there would suit perfectly for the team i thought that that section which is the dining room would be the only section that is kind of outdoorsy but it's sheltered of course um, but the bathroom over here is behind the kitchen i know it is a weird place for me to put the, the uh, bathroom i almost said kitchen um, but i thought that it would make much more sense since I, the shell itself is structured that way because it is kind of extended some parts of it are extended outwards and they are quite a small space so i decided to put the bathroom over there and it fit perfectly everything was perfectly 
arranged and fit just nicely <laughs> um, but yeah I really enjoyed furnishing this build and I really hope you guys will like it too if you want to download this house it's already up in the gallery by the time I upload this and yeah yeah yes 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 <laughs> but anyways the house also ends up having a small entryway with a glass rooftop on it and I really like the look of it um, but we are moving on to the bedroom over here which is the upstairs bedroom and this house only fits two sims just a reminder um, it can be a couple a couple of siblings or anything you like um, but I had this idea that came from my friend who is very very talented to put the panel thing behind the bed and she is Lizzie Sims she basically I basically saw one of her videos doing this and I thought I really loved the idea so I decided to incorporate in this one except that I made the paneled walls look more like it's a stand for veins crawling up so I thought that I put in the veins to make it look more eco um, and more plants for the inside of the house but this bedroom also ends up having an art easel over here and also has a balcony on top um, which I will be putting a chest table and also a yoga mat because i imagine that the one of the sims who is a woman living here she is very very like the boho type of person so she always wants to make sure that she is in good shape and so she really loves yoga so i decided to put that yoga mat after this which you will see but the bedroom also has a guitar in it for some activities for your sims and also i managed to squeeze in a um, study table over there and I decided to put that uh, shelving unit from the base game which contains the men's and women's clothes rack I thought that it would look very nice and and I also imagine that they built this house the couple of sims that built this house they were on a budget a tight budget so they, they decided to imply a um, the coat rack or uh, clothes rack that is attached to the wall and I thought that it was a good idea. But for the landscaping also, I managed to put in a lot of um, pots and pans. And I, and, I also, and I also ended up adding a pool over here because I wanted it to make it like look a bit more modern than what you see over here. So I ended up changing that area to a pool and then bringing the stairs at the back, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I, I, I really can't remember what I did, but I'm pretty sure I ended up like adding a pool in there um and yeah and for the backyard decorations it's just basically a clothing line also because i imagine that the couple is very eco and is very energy friendly green energy or something like that but anyways we are going to be approaching the end of the video soon so i really hope you guys will like this one if you do like it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye